Who burns more calories per day? A hunter-gatherer who spends hours searching for food or the average sedentary American? If you assume the hunter-gatherer, you'd be wrong. Herman Ponser, an evolutionary anthropologist, studies modern hunter-gatherer tribes. His research shows that the human body adapts to expend the same amount of calories, regardless of activity level. Does this mean we don't need to be active or exercise? No, but it does highlight the importance of understanding the true nature of exercise. Hi, I'm Peter Montoya from Thrive Union, and I'll be sharing our current thinking on exercise, why it's so fundamental, and how it unlocks our potential. Ancient humans led very physical, active lives, but our modern society fosters inactivity with enormous cost to our physical and mental health. Exercise is how we intentionally combat the modern sedentary lifestyle in order to unlock our innate potential. Dr. Wendy Suzuki, a neuroscientist at New York University asks, What if I told you there was something that you can do right now that would have an immediate positive benefit for your brain, including your mood and your focus? And what if I told you that same thing could actually last a long time and protect your brain from different conditions like depression, Alzheimer's disease, or dementia? Would you do it? Yes, I am talking about the powerful effects of physical activity that is simply moving your body has immediate, long-lasting, and protective benefits for your brain, and that can last for the rest of your life. According to Dr. Michael Joyner, a Mayo Clinic anesthesiologist, the blood vessels to the brain, the heart, the lungs, the immune system, uh, your metabolism, your liver, you name it, your skeletal muscle, your bones. Uh, exercise has beneficial effects on almost every single organ system in the body for people of, of every age. Exercise boosts creativity, improves sleep and longevity, and it staves off diseases like diabetes and certain cancers. It's like sharpening the saw before you cut down a tree. Instead of working with a dulled body or mind, you're operating at your peak. So why don't we exercise more? First, we lack time. But even small amounts of exercise are beneficial. Current guidelines point to an hour to two hours per week. That's just 30 minutes, three or four times a week. To make time, make moving natural. Dan Butner, who studied places where people live the longest, happiest lives, says of these individuals, None of them exercise. At least the way we think of exercise. Instead, they set up their lives so that they're constantly nudged into physical activity. Park away from the store or office to get in extra steps. Take the stairs. Have a walk and talk meeting. Walk to get coffee instead of driving. Try exchanging a bit of sleep a few mornings a week for exercise. If you feel groggy, dial it back. Experiment to see what's right for you. Second, we have unhelpful expectations. Exercise isn't primarily about losing weight. A wise adage states, you can't outrun a bad diet. Exercise is about becoming healthier and sharpening your body and your mind. Third, we mismatch our exercise. Dr. Joyner offers this advice. And the important thing is for people to find something that works for them, something that's sustainable for them, and something that can fit into their daily plan. Gardening, chores, dancing, boxing, fitness classes, or swimming are all exercise. Try a little of everything, including resistance training like weightlifting and cardio, until you find something active you enjoy. Even little things count. Walking has the same profound benefits as other exercise, yet it's often overlooked. And don't forget the power of communities. There has been a huge boom in group fitness classes in recent years for a reason. Working out in a community provides effortless motivation to not only work harder, but continue longer. Group classes keep people engaged for years, whereas exercising by yourself is ridden with fits and starts. Get to know the people in your class. We're advised to sleep on it when facing a difficult problem. We should also try to exercise on it because the benefits are profound. By sharpening our mind, body, and emotions through exercise, we unlock our ability to live our best lives and truly thrive. Thrive Union is a real-world community and life school dedicated to human well-being. Our regular events include parties, game nights, supper clubs, hikes, and Thrive meetings to build deep levels of intimacy 
empower us to grow and improve our world. Our Life School provides educational videos, articles, conferences, and educational courses. Visit our website at thriveunion.org to learn more.